हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज सत्य प्रकाश वेलकम टू माई चैनल दिस इज पार्ट नाइन ऑफ एस पी डॉट नेट वेब ए पी आई इन दिस वीडियो आई डिस्कस हाउ टू यूज और इम्प्लीमेंट पोस्ट मेथड इन एस पी डॉट नेट वेब ए पी आई सो पोस्ट मेथड अलाउज अस टू क्रिएट ए न्यू आइटम सो बिफोर गोइंग थ्रू दिस पार्ट नाइन प्लीज विजिट माई पार्ट एट ऑफ एस पी डॉट नेट वेब ए पी आई दैट इज हाउ टू रिट्राइव डेटा इन एस पी डॉट नेट वेब ए पी आई यूजिंग एसकल सर्वर एंड एंटिटी फ्रेमवर्क You can get this video in my playlist called ASP .NET Web API Tutorial. So here I'll go to my Visual Studio, and guys, here I'll implement the post method. Okay, and what is the uh, write the code? I'll I'll write the code here. So uh, public uh, void the return type and post method I need to implement, and inside bracket. I will pass the employee parameter, right? So employee object as the parameter. So employee ob object is nothing but for me it is employee date, right? And here I will pass here employee, right? Employee date, right? And inside uh, what I'll do now? So this uh, so this employee object uh, is passed as a parameter to the post method. and the employee parameter also this parameter i need to decorate with from body attribute so what is the code here is uh, to uh, to decorate with from body so from body give some space here so inside bracket i will mention here from body right so what is the from body here so uh, this from body attribute tells the web api to get employee data from the request body so request body is nothing but uh, we need to pass some values to uh, insert some data to our database so inside the request body only we will type the uh, to to get the employee data from the request body to insert the data to in into our database right so here inside i will write some code so public void post method and uh, this is the employee data ob ob object is passed as a parameter and this employee object is decorated with our parameter is decorated with a from body attribute so this from body attribute is is used to get the employee data from the request body and next step is i need to instance instantiate the you know this employee uh, satya db entities so they are uh for that what i'll do here is just for copy paste the same thing all right and here i will what i'll do here is using this entities i need to refer the employee dates object right and here i need to add the employee object to our database right and here i pass the this parameter employee date okay and after then i need to save this changes whatever or whatever i changes i have, I have made so entities dot save changes okay so next what what i done done here is uh, i have you know instantiate the uh, satya db entities create the instance of that uh, satya db entities so after then we, it is used to make connection with the database okay and after then using that object i have add the employee uh, details to using this parameter right parameter value that is employee date you can see here parameter value and after then whatever changes i have made i have saved the changes okay what i what i'll do here next one is Mm, I will write, write some XML comments. So here is I'll write post uh, new employee records or data. Okay, uh, and after then what I'll do here is I'll uh, build the solution. So guys, here build is succeeded, and I need to run my application to insert the 
employee records to employee uh, date table so I, I already have created this table earlier right that is employee date so in this table I need to insert the new value so you can see as per now we have 12 rows that means 12 records and I will show you here uh, so the under this DB I have this table so in this table I need to create a new row so till now I have created 12 rows so I will create a new rows that 13 rows so what I'll do here I'll go here uh, and run my uh, VBA application here So guys here I need to map to Swagger UI so here I'll type Swagger UI index so you can see my employee controller so I'll expand this one I can see my post method right and whatever XML comments I have mentioned here you can see in the code that is post new employee data so I can see the XML comments here post new employee data so I need to expand this post method as well and you can see the employee data is uh, some parameter right it is because inside the XML comments I have mentioned your employee date so employee date is the object here you need some values to insert the new record so here you can see the one sample how to insert the data using JSON so your content type here by default it is mentioned as, as JSON format and here the status code is 204 and region no content okay and here I need to write and I need to uh, pass the employee object uh, right um, to get the employee data and here I click this one and I can see the same thing here uh, inside my uh, left hand side box the values box I don't need this ID because it is a auto increment so I just need this uh, you know first name last name and gender salary so first name I need to mention here as Satya Prakash and last name here I need to mention here as uh, Samant Rai right uh, and gender I need to mention here as male and salary I mention here 12,000 and content type is application underscore JSON and I need to insert it as a new record so what I'll do here just click on try it out and you can see this works fine for me I got I get the request URL that is localhost port number api slash employee controller responsive no content response code is 204 in my next video i'll uh, i'll show you uh, how to change the status code and the response body and response code so by default web api uh, you know so just a no content response body and response code to 204 but uh, in uh, but in my next video i'll show you the valid and uh, valuable response code and response body here right your status code 204 and region no content i need to modify this one in my next video so this works fine and i'll check my database whether this new employee object is new employees value is is uh, inserted to our database is not so i'll go to my sql server i just refresh it okay now you can see i got the row number 13 that is uh, ID value is 16 and Satya Prakash first name last name Samantha Rai male is gender and 12,000 so that means employee the it are the employee to my database as expected right okay so here I will show one more thing is how to check using our fiddler so what I will do here is uh, I will just you know uh, type copy this request URL right and I will go to my fiddler I'll uh, remove all these things inside so in, in in the composer tab I'll paste here this URL and select here post method this is the URI right and here what I'll do I'll mention here content type 
so content type application underscore j application uh, forward slash json but in our swagger by default it is selected here as application forward slash json is content type but in fiddler i need to mention here manually that is content type application forward slash json right so this tells that uh, we are sending json formatted data to the server and for the http for to post right and in the request body i need to include the employee object uh, that you i want to add the, to the database in json format so how to i need to json formatted data what i'll do here is i just copy here the formatted data go to fiddler and pay, copy paste here and inside i need to update here i need to insert here the new record that is uh, mohit mohan mohan samal right and here is uh, gender is female and salary is uh, 14 right and uh, after then i will click here execute and you can see i got one response here the 204 http code and a request no, no content uh, right here status code 204 and region is no content i get the same response here right so click this one and here i got the you know the data is inserted successfully into our database so in the inspector tab you can see in the json format first name mohan gender female last time samal salary 14000 and respond in the header section you can see 204 no content right so i'll go check these uh, records whether it is inserted or not i'll just execute again these statements and here i'll you can see it is id 617 and mohan samal is last name mohan is first name female is gender is female and 14000 salary so uh, the data is inserted uh, as i expected from the web api to our database so here what i'll do here is uh, I'll go to my presentation okay so th these points we already have discussed how to add post method in your web controller and how to perform post operation using swagger ui and fiddler and uh, what is from body attribute so this tells web api to get the employee data from the request body right so this is this is nothing but the request body guys whatever json formatted we have mentioned here this is called request body so this is the work of from body that it tells the web api to get the employee data from the request body okay and uh, this is decorated with the uh, parameter that is the employee parameter it is decorated uh, this is the attribute which is uh, decorated with the employee parameter uh, which one is passed using our post method in web api so what we have learned today in this video is how to add post method into our web api controller and how to perform post operation using swagger ui and fiddler and in my next video i will show you how to modify the status code and content as per the um, http verbs that that is get and post operation so that's it for today guys thank you for listening have a great day